Recently, Ripley's, believe it or not, has celebrated 100 years, their 100 year anniversary. And they reached out to us recently and said, we would like to send you our newest book to review it. We got some things to say about it. But in order to do a proper review, we have to go back to what kind of is the beginning, the grim life beginning of Ripley's Believe It or Not and us. A couple months ago, we did a tour of their museum in St. Augustine and we did a video. We were really excited about it, but when it was all said and done, we were kind of let down. For reasons we're not going to get into, you can watch the video and find out. So it was a little surprising when we got this in the mail, that inside had a piece of paper and a book asking us to review it and welcome to the Ripley's family. The paper reads, Ripley's Believe It or Not, incredibly hard to believe but undeniably true. We thank you for your support this year. Enclosed is the newest edition of 100 Best Bions. 100 Bions, Believe It or Not Stories. Additional review or giveaway copies are available upon request. We want to see a review. Please send us your links. Welcome to the Ripley's family. That's us. So now we're part of the Ripley's family. High five. High five. Now don't get us wrong, we love the idea of Ripley's. In a museum like that, more cities need them. We were kind of eh about it because you pay so much to get inside and when you get there, then they start nickeling and diming you for pictures and whatever else they had. Just at that location. Though. Just at that location. Yeah. Well, you've been to the one in New York City. In Times Square. I've been to the one in Texas, Grand Prairie. We've been to St. Augustine now. We have yet to go to the one here in Orlando, mm -hmm. which is our home museum now. It seemed like the one in St. Augustine had a ton of tribal museum pieces, so to speak. It, 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 it was, was, I would say it was mostly that. Yeah, there wasn't much diversity in the museum, which was odd to us. Which is why this book, believe it or not, and they're not paying us to say it, I'm surprised as you are that we're actually doing a review on this, the book to me was a bit of a breath of fresh air. I wish every Ripley's Believe It or Not museum read like this book. True, yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's not a, a big book and it's not even a hardback, so as you can see, it's not a massive table book. And um, for us to be interested in such a small volume, I think they did pretty well by it. The, as soon as I opened it up, you know, they always say to read the last page first. So in case you die, you know how the story ends. <laughs> Let's go back a little bit here. Past the acknowledgements. Fantasy coffins. That struck me as cool. That is cool. I don't remember seeing anything like that in the museum and I wish I did. And then the very front of the book, what starts it off. Is classics. Yeah, chapter one, it's classics. What's the first one though? And it has sideshow freaks. It does a really oh, nice expose Bottomless on bodies. Johnny Eck, one of our favorite sideshow performers, yeah. who's buried in Baltimore, mind you. Did you try that gag I told you about? So that is really cool. They had that in the museum, but it, it wasn't, wasn't a very yeah. big area. No, it, there was a, I remember seeing, um, it was more like they had a, um, an old television and it was part of a video montage. So it was a very right. small portion, yeah. Just before we started filming, I was flipping through it and one of the things that caught my eye was they had a piece on Marilyn Monroe and I was like, oh, what do they have of her, I wonder, because she's gorgeous, we all love her, she's an icon, and it turns out that they purchased her iconic dress from when she sang Happy Birthday to John F. Kennedy. And what I like about stuff like this is that um, it reminds you of certain dates and events that happened and after she wore this dress she was found dead three weeks later just three weeks later after the thing that people remember her a lot for 
also they have a little spread if you will on the Winchester Mystery House which was there many many years ago it's a beautiful home and the pictures inside of this which is what makes me think of it as a coffee table book the picture book they're phenomenal like Jessica was saying every couple pages is a different topic so let's show you some of the other stories in here one of our favorite things inside the book is this little piece on the vampire killing kits. The one in St. Augustine had it. We wish that we could have seen more. They even have a little piece on the Chinese custom, the tradition of bound feet. They don't really do it anymore. People still have it, but I've never seen what it looked like in person without like shoes and socks. That's really cool. Skiing squirrels. This is something I've always wanted to see in real life and never have got to. And of course, we have to show you the Fiji mermaid. Every Ripley's, as far as I know, and every sideshow prides themselves on the Fiji mermaid, so that it makes sense that this book has one. I'm surprised we don't have one in our collection. Have to point this out, Sword Swallower. Is that guy right there swallowing all those swords? His name's Chris Steele, and he's based out of Atlanta, Georgia. Just recently, he was actually in the hospital because of something that went wrong with swallowing swords, but he's doing okay. Sword Swallowers, be safe. Wait a second, are those frogs lifting weights? My God, who would have thought? They even have a little section on Rapunzel syndrome, which is basically when somebody eats their own hair. And who's that? My gosh, that's Dean Kane. He was one of the hosts of Ripley's Believe It or Not. Can you guess who the new host is? Hail to the king, baby. There's also a little section in here on the Berlin Wall, which stood out to us because a couple weeks ago we did a video of the Hard Rock Cafe in Orlando, and they have a piece of the Berlin Wall. That's pretty cool. And lastly, if you've ever been to a Ripley's Believe It or Not, you probably are a fan of the pranks of nature. Animals looking weird. All in all, we're actually quite impressed with the book. And thank you, Ripley's Believe It or Not, for sending it to us. We just wish that your museums were just a little bit like your book. And if you're watching this video and you haven't done it yet, be sure to pick up Ripley's Believe It or Not 100 Best Buy-Ons. It's coming my way wherever I go Hard luck is that it stays Good luck never stays a day A bad luck's always coming my way